excited. I have an amazing recipe I want to share with you all. How to make delicious chicken marsala, Jenny Young style. Here are the ingredients you will need. You're gonna need some chicken. Now, I'm deciding to use boneless, skinless chicken thighs today. You can absolutely use boneless, skinless chicken breasts as well, or even chicken tenders. You're gonna need some marsala cooking wine. We have a nice sweet Vidalia onion and beautiful mushrooms. You also need to serve your chicken marsala over top of something. I like to serve mines over top of mashed potatoes or these beautiful egg noodles. And in our egg noodles, we'll be putting some butter and parsley flakes. You will need some flour, that's what we have here. And then you're also gonna need some spices so we can make this thing taste good. Um, salt, onion powder, parsley flakes. You can use garlic powder if you want black pepper and cornstarch, and we're also gonna be using some chicken broth. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this delicious recipe. I couldn't be more excited to show you all how easy it is to make this delicious recipe. It is absolutely superb. It's packed with flavor, and I just have to say it again, so easy to make. So now the first thing that we wanna do is go ahead and season. Season well, don't be afraid to season black pepper just like so. Now, I have made this before by using chicken breast or chicken tenders. And my husband told me one day, you know what, honey, I think it'd be better. I think I, <laughs> what he said, he said, I think I would like it better if you use chicken thighs. Well, one day I decided to make it, I used chicken thighs and he said, that's it. I like it better with chicken thighs. So that's why I make buns with chicken thighs and we all love it, all right? But like I said, if you like the breast, absolutely go ahead. That was onion powder. Feel free to use garlic powder as well. There's the salt, okay? And then we're gonna flip these babies just like so. We're gonna get the other side seasoned. Same thing. Let's season the other side. Just like so beautiful. Ooh, this chicken. It tastes so good. Even if you just cook it up like this, you're gonna love it that way even if you don't turn it into chicken marsala. It's great. You could slice it up, put it into a salad. Great taste. And when you use the chicken thighs, it always remains nice and juicy and tender versus using a chicken breast. Okay, so here's what I like to do. I'm going to go right in with our seasoned chicken and we want to dredge it. Just a light dusting of flour. Okay, just like so. Any type of flour you have will work. All, this is an all-purpose flour. You could use self-rising, wheat flour, whichever kind you like to use. Okay, beautiful. And when I come back, we're gonna get started chopping up some veggies. Now, I'm using mushrooms. Mushrooms is traditional for chicken marsala, but I also know that there's a lot of people in the world that really don't like mushrooms. There's some people that think that mushrooms look kind of scary, and I can understand, and if you're that person, just leave the mushrooms out. It will still be delicious. I have some water boiling. I've salted the water, and I want to make some of these gorgeous egg noodles. They taste so good. I'm gonna cook them for about 11 minutes, and when they're done, we're going to drain them in a strainer, give them some salt and pepper, butter and parsley flakes, just like so. So we have some oil in our pan. It's just vegetable oil. We want to heat that oil up get it nice and hot so we can begin to cook up our chicken. In the meantime, we're going to slice and dice beautiful mushrooms. Absolutely, you could use mushrooms out of the jar if you wanted to. It's really up to your discretion. So, and put as much or as least mushrooms in the onions as you would like to have in your dish. So I'm gonna continue to chop up these mushrooms just like so. And when I come back, we'll get started on our onion. Not too much onion. Just a little bit will work for this recipe. We really don't wanna overwhelm our recipe with too much onion. I hope you all are having a great day today. Somebody, anybody in the comment section, let me know, have you ever tasted chicken marsala? I tell you what, if you've never tasted it, you are definitely in for a huge treat. Your family, friends, everyone, the kids, they're gonna love this recipe. While our egg noodles cook up, let's go ahead and take 
our chicken, get it right into this oil. Take a look at how much oil we're using. If you don't see in here that sizzle right there, don't put another one in. That means your oil's not hot enough. It's just a little bit of oil, just enough to coat the bottom of the pan because we're really not trying to deep fry them. But we do want to get them fully cooked just like so in this manner. You can also um, take this chicken marsala and slice it if you wanted to and then proceed with cooking the recipe just like so with sliced chicken. Okay, there we go. What we're gonna do, we're gonna wait in for it to get nice, beautiful, golden brown crispiness to it. It's gonna remain nice, juicy, and supple in the inside, and the outside is gonna be beautiful. And then we'll turn around and put some parsley flakes on it to make it even more pretty. Our, our egg noodles are done. We're going to drain them in a colander. And when I come back, I'll show you exactly what you need to do to these. These can be delicious. All you gotta do is show them a little bit of love. Go ahead and address our egg noodles. I'm gonna use a half a stick of butter. You wanna get that nice, beautiful and melted in the noodles. And no worries, the hot noodles will melt that butter in no time. But then we wanna put some color into it. Okay, and that's where the parsley flakes comes into play. We're gonna salt and pepper. Not too much, you only need a little bit because the gravy that's gonna go over here is really gonna put an amazing flavor onto the noodles. All right, let's give it a nice stir. Oh, I love a good buttered noodle. And that's it, very simple, right? You bet it is. Let's flip our chicken, see if we got some color. Oh, yes, and we do. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Now some of the pieces don't have the full color that I'm looking for, so I'm gonna continue to cook these until I'm happy with the color. I want that color onto all of them. So we'll just wait a little bit. When I come back, they will be the nice, beautiful golden brown color on both sides. Remember I told you all we're looking for some beautiful color onto the chicken? Take a look. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so now that we've achieved that color, Let's go ahead and set our chicken. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that beautiful, juicy, tender, so flavorful, and just tastes absolutely amazing. Now what we're gonna do, really interesting, we're gonna turn around and take our onions and our mushrooms, and we want to saute them up, just like so in this manner, using the oil that's in the bottom of the pan. And feel free to salt and pepper your mushrooms and onions when they're probably like 85% of the way sauteed. In the meantime, between time, we have three tablespoons of cornstarch. I wanna put a little tiny bit of water in there. And then what we're gonna do is we want to really mix it up just like so, making sure that that cornstarch is well incorporated with the water. And this will go into our chicken broth and turn our chicken broth nice and thick, just like gravy consistency. Take a look at the onions and mushroom. Gorgeous, right? And it smells good. I did put a little bit of salt on there. And we're gonna go with chicken broth. Just use your desired amount. How much of this gravy do you want to cover your chicken is what I want you to think about when you're pouring in your chicken broth, okay? So now, we're gonna let this heat up and season it salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder if you like. Okay, keep in mind that your chicken broth already has salt in it if, um, or unless you're using a low sodium chicken broth. Now, we do wanna put some, chick, um, some marsala cooking wine and that'll be towards the end of the cooking process. I've seasoned this salt, pepper, and onion powder. Now that this came up to a boil, Go ahead and put your cornstarch slurry in it. And literally, right before your own eyes, very quickly, this will begin to thicken up. If at any time you feel like, hey, wait a minute, it's a little too thick, then what I want you to do, don't worry about it, just turn around and put a little extra broth in it and it will thin it out just like so. This is such a light gravy and I'm telling you, it tastes good. Just make sure you season it, okay? All right, so now here's what we're gonna do. Nestle that chicken down in there. Oh, this is one of my favorite, my family, honestly. They request this recipe once a month. That's how delicious it is. And think about, what do you wanna serve this with? Do you wanna serve it over top of mashed potatoes or that gorgeous buttered noodles? Look at the, look in the pan. <laughs> 
That's what I want you to see. You must see how gorgeous this is. Listen, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world what Gina is doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. I'm gonna pray, I'm gonna pray right now. Heavenly Father, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for this gorgeous meal. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. So now, don't forget some Marsala, just a little bit. You could leave this Marsala cooking wine out. Hold on guys, let me pour it from here. Beautiful, just a little bit. Really gives it a special umami factor. Make them say, mm, mommy, where'd you get this recipe? And you make sure to tell them, Jeannie Young showed me how. We're gonna let this simmer for about eight minutes with the marsala, and then we're gonna serve it over these gorgeous noodles, just like so. Take a look, take a look, take a look. And now here's what I like to do. I know, I know, Gina, it looks so good. You bet it does. Look at that. My family is so happy that I'm making this. They don't know what to do with themselves. But you're going to feel the same way. And now we need to turn around. Let me grab a spoon that's not slotted. And we're just going to pour that gravy all over these noodles. <laughs> yes, that's it. I know, I know. Gina, this is amazing. You bet it is. You're gonna love it. Make you some Jeannie Young style. God bless you all. Thanks for watching. Good night.